really good weekend. You know, we went into this, wanted to go, to go 4-0, and and we did. Um, wasn't always a straight line to get there, but I was really happy with how we made adjustments throughout the weekend and fought through sloppy moments and, and just got it done. So a lot of growth for a really young team, a lot of players with brand new roles this year, and it was pretty good to see how they all responded. Last year, obviously, a lot smaller of a role. You surpassed that in the first game, and it seems like you're kind of having to take over Kenna's role in the way, being able to rotate around. So what, I guess, how have you adjusted to that, and how have you adjusted to that pretty well in some ways? So obviously, it's a big role to take on, but if you take it on head first, then, you know, the sky's the limit. Um, I'm really excited for this season. I'm really happy to be with the people that I'm with here. Obviously, we're playing for Mr. G, so I'm just excited for this season to see what we have like going on and what we're going to do and accomplish this year. But as of being in this outside role position, it's it could be nerve-wracking a little bit, but honestly, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. And I'm glad to take it on head on, like I said. And uh, when y'all were down two sets to love and then in that third set, and I'll ask you about it, Coach, later, but just kind of what, what flipped, I guess, for y'all to finish, to find a way to come back and then end up winning the next three games? This team does not like to lose. We are very competitive in practice. If it's just a fun little game and it has a scoreboard on it, whoever loses, you know, they're upset for the rest of the day. So I think it's just that mentality of being like, hey, like we're not letting this, we're not letting this slide, we're not letting this happen. We're turning this thing around. We're getting this going. So that's what that's what happened yesterday or the other day. I know, I know you're not much older than they are, but <laughs> how, have the, how have the freshmen kind of impressed you? Uh, Caitlin coming in there for a little bit, but then also in the middle, Reagan and Kate, and then Abby as well, having a big role. They are incredible, first off. I made a little joke. I'm like, are you guys even freshmen? But they just take on that role, like I said, once again, head on, and they're not afraid. They're taking big swings, as you've seen. Um, they're just owning that position. They're just owning it and being assertive and aggressive. And whoever's across the net, you know, they don't really care who it is. They're coming at you head on. So, yeah, I'm proud of them. They're stepping up. And I can see in their four years being here how they could really grow, and especially as seniors, and make a huge impact on the uh, program. Uh, Bryn, you accounted for a team leading 16 kills tonight, but you also had a team leading nine errors. Now as kind of the leader of the team, can you speak on your successes and some of your uh, issues and struggles heading into tonight? Yeah, I think obviously whenever you get – or in the outside position, sometimes you make it a couple balls here and there, but that's your job is to clean it up. So it's not going to happen every single time. It's really what you do and what you make out of it. So as it being my position, you have to make the most out of it and be clean and crisp to the best of your ability. Um, but honestly, I just think that as long as you can stay consistent, work hard, stay high, because this conference is huge, block is huge. Um, obviously, being maybe not the tallest I am, but just staying high and consistent and trying to hit deep corners, you'll be successful. So, yeah. What type of motivation does this four-game win streak give the team heading into the season? It gives us a lot of motivation and a lot of momentum because we not only have these four wins, but it's like, who's next? But obviously, we're taking things one day at a time, one game at a time, and we want to be really, really present. And that's one thing I've really been trying to focus on this year is being really present and not thinking about game five or game six. What, like, who's crossing that now? Who are we taking on right now? And how are we going to win, win against that team now? You've led all four games and kills this uh, tournament. Is there any pressure heading into the season to keep that streak going? I don't think it's any pressure. I know that the team has my back. Um, they Obviously, they give me a little pat on the back or a little joke, whatever, every now and then, even in the game, just to keep things lighthearted and keep things easy. Um, the coaches do a really good job of that, too, just letting you know, like, hey, calm down. We're home. The crowd loves everybody here. They want to be here for you guys and cheer you guys cheer each other on so I think as long as you know really like who your people are and like I said we have a great fan base here in Lubbock um, it makes it really easy it makes it really easy to play here so yeah Thanks, thank you okay Same thing I kind of asked her about uh, being down two sets to love down the third and then find a way to get through that and then what I think 12 of the last 15 sets after that. Just right. what what was the switch that you felt like flipped for this team? Well, if you were there, you saw how many unforced errors we had. And it was just not what we thought it was going to be. You know, we knew Houston Christian was good, but I mean, I, we had like 25 attack errors in the first two sets. We gave them so many points. And and I think everybody was just so excited and so prepared and ready to go. And then it just didn't go to plan. And then we're on our heels. And now we're 
just compounding mistakes. And so it was nice to see them get a, a fresh start. We did put um, Casey in to set, and that was an adjustment. But other than that, it was really just us getting out of our own way and, and being us, and, and then we were able to endure it more than anything. Uh, off of that, I mean, Casey coming in and then playing against Wichita State, but then you put Reese back in for the last two games. What was kind of your thinking, I guess, in both situations? Well, in the HCU match, that was really an impulsive decision in that moment to, to make a switch, and and it obviously it worked well. Uh, and then we decided to just kind of stay cohesive and, and play the hot hand into Wichita State, and that's where that was. But then, um, you know, Reese is our senior. She's been through everything with us. She's earned herself uh, another opportunity to be our setter and our leader, and I thought she played fantastic against Notre Dame. How do, how do you feel about this team? You talked about it early on, about you know a lot of volleyball, four games in three days. How do you think it's really helped this team that's either young or even if they have had a lot of experience, they haven't really played together, how do you think it's helped them? Yeah, well, there's only one way to gain experience, right? And you, you got to do. And so we, we didn't want to dodge anything. We wanted to throw them into every trial we could and, and um, you know kind of see what they're all about. So. Um, you know, by the end of the match today, you know, this is our fourth in three days. It was, it was ACU's second in two days. So they were clearly a little bit fresher than we were. And we looked a little tired toward the end. And, and I was really happy to see us grind through it. Um, but we're going to learn a lot about ourselves in the next couple of days. Next week is even going to be more challenging. So um, we get through these first two weekends, I'm going to feel awfully good about ourselves. Uh, Coach, how does it feel um, with this team knowing that, you know, you've got a lot of freshmen, you've got a couple of transfers in, but knowing that there's so much spread out talent on this team. You know, two of your top players tonight were a freshman and a graduate and Kate, um, Kate, sorry, um, Engler and uh, uh, Doug Dugan. Right. Um, how does that make you feel? Well, we know that these freshmen can play. That, that's never been a question. It, it's just playing at this level and it's a diff different kind of grind. And so they're gonna, they're gonna figure it out really quick. But yeah, it's really nice to have that stability that Caitlin gives us, that Reese gives us, that Maddie Correa gives us. And with the new players, they, they really don't play to their age. They really are good players. They've got a lot of good training and played at high level before they got to us. So um, I think they were made for it. And, and the team itself has just been pretty good about recognizing where we're at. And like Bryn said, we go hard and we compete for everything. They have a lot, a lot of fight in them. And throughout this weekend, you never saw them um, check out. You saw them always engage. We could coach them. We could make adjustments. Uh, I, I did a lot of coaching this weekend, whereas even last season, we didn't always respond to a lot of adjustments. So uh, I'm, I'm really happy with how they stayed with me and, and let us work with them and, and get them through some stuff. Does that give you some confidence heading into the season knowing you can put just about anybody into this lineup and they'll perform? It does. It does. And we're going to need that. And, um, you, you know, the next thing up for us is, you, you know, we need to get Simone involved. We need to get Curry involved. We need to get Madison Gillen involved. Uh, we saw that Casey is ready to go. We got to get her involved as well. And, um, you know, these next three weeks, it's really on us as a staff to get, you know, more players involved and really feel like we're, we've got a deeper team as we get into Big 12 when we know we're going to have to really show a lot more depth. Thank you, Coach. Uh, as he kind of talked about all the freshmen, uh, but also Caitlin Dugan being in the way there, um, career high in kills, career high in points in the first game. Just what have you seen out of her last year? She wasn't healthy. She said mm -hmm. she feels a lot better now. Just kind of speak about her. Yeah, I love Caitlin. And, you know, she came in and she's been a starter since day one. Right side, left side, just really good about doing different things. And then uh, last season she got hurt. And, you know, that ankle injury really cost her a big, big part of the season. And, and she never really kind of got back on track. And so once she was really able to recover and get through it and then start over in the spring, and then we started seeing a lot of changes in the roster. And that's when we saw her voice take over and her really influence as a returning fifth year. And, and I would look at this as hers and Reese's and Maddie O'Brien's team completely right now. And, and she'd been a big part of that. And, uh, and then her game just took off. And it's easy to forget that, that, that Caitlin was an all big 12 player a couple years ago. And, uh, and she's playing back to that level right now. Uh, Maddie Correa, um, having to be kind of one of the leaders on this team after so many people left. Uh, she and Abby kind of kind of in the back there. What have you seen from both of them? Yeah, they're terrific. And uh, they work really well together. They push each other every day in practice. Um, 
they make each other better. And if, if we're going to identify one true thing that's really improved between this team and last year's team, it's our first touch. And so we started out at a really high rate today. Our passing has been very good. And uh, we've put a little bigger block in front of, in front of the defenders, and so our defense is really uh, doing a nice job. So um, Abby and Maddie have been really good for each other. What else do you think has improved? Uh, I, I know it's early, but yeah. what else do you think has improved? Well, I just think the, the, the energy within the team, they're, they're healthier, they're younger. Younger teams can be pushed a little bit more. Older teams, you, you know, you got to protect them a little bit. And last year's team, we broke down, and, and we looked like an older team, and injuries really did get the best of us throughout the season in different ways. Uh, and this season, it's just a different group. And so, um, you know, I love young teams, and they're going to do dumb things sometimes and make young mistakes. We saw a lot of that today, but that's just part of the process. And, you know, check back with us in a month and see how much cleaner we play and more in system we are, and you're going to see a whole different level. Uh, Matty O'Brien, she didn't play any of the any of the games on the weekend. Is is it an injury or what is? Yeah, Maddie has been dealing with uh, an injury for about two years, and we have tried a million different things. It's one of these things where, you know, she's had an injection, she's had time off, she's had different treatments, and and it's just not there. And so, uh, you know, we're we're trying to find a strategy where we can get something out of her, but we know we're never going to have her every day, and uh, so we got to pick our moments when we can train her, when we can practice her when we can have her available for games. And so um, we're still working on a strategy. But, uh, you know, it's disappointing for her because she's such a great person and, and really gives us a lot when she's healthy and we just haven't been able to keep her healthy. Coach, going back a little bit to that Wichita State game, uh, there were a good chunk of errors in that game. Is that something that heading into the season you guys are really working on? Yeah, and yes, and no question. At Wichita State did a really, really nice job of changing tempo and – forcing things to play a little sloppy. They really did a nice job. Their setter really moved the ball around and forced them, uh, forced us to look a little bit like we did against JCU and even today, you know. And so that's something that, you know, it's harder for us. we got to stay organized. we got to make sure we are decisive on how we play balls and not steal balls from our teammates and just know what our system is supposed to be. And, and that's, again, you know, part of a young team, but also early season and everybody's just trying to game plan each other and, and find a way to steal some points. So these are things we've talked about for sure, and, and the team knows it, and we'll get in on Tuesday and get back to work on it. Speaking on that, oh, sorry. Speaking on that tempo, uh, today in sets two and three, you guys went on a seven to one and eight and two run, um, but it kind of started to falter later on. Do you think that was the youth of the team or maybe just a lot of excitement, you know? Uh, I, I think it's as much that as it was AC's got a good setter and she did a really nice job of holding our block and then creating tempo and, and just kind of put us on our heels. So, and then as the match went on, we were a little fatigued and, and we lost a step. But in the middle part of that match, our serve really picked up and that's how we were able to do what we did. But until that serve kicked in, we were, we were in a tough spot. You know, they did a really nice job moving the ball around and, uh, and they, we, they forced us to play their, their system. Thank you, Coach. Sure thing. You bet.